For the first time since the outbreak of the COVID pandemic, the European Union's ambassadors meet again in person in Brussels for their annual conference. This conference comes at a particularly difficult moment. War is back in Europe. The consequences of the Russian aggression against Ukraine are affecting the whole world, and many other crises are still spreading, bringing suffering to far too many people. The European Union Diplomatic Corps is on the front line. We are called to do our part with professionalism and dedication, to act and react effectively at the service of the European Union. This conference focuses on the new frontiers of diplomacy in our fragmented world, on how we make our external action more and more impactful in the interest of the European citizens. To start with, we have to make sure that our own house, the External Action Service, is fully mobilized to deliver on its core tasks. A house transparent, open to the outside world, and better reflecting our societies. We have made substantial progresses on equality between men and women, but it is not enough. At the External Action Service, we want to become more diverse and more inclusive. And these issues feature high in the conference. I want everybody in the External Action Service in this house to feel safe, respected, free, because differences make us richer and stronger.